Lesson 4.11, find sums for three add-ends. We can add three numbers in a column by making a 10 with two numbers, then adding the third number to the partial sum. We can add three numbers by adding from top to bottom. Here we have 14 plus 25 plus 16. We can make a 10 with the 4 and the 6. We think 10 plus 5, that's equal to 15. 15 is 1 10, 5 ones. We regroup the 10 and write the 5 in the ones column. Now we add the 10s. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. It's equal to 55. We could also do it from top to bottom. We start by adding the 4 plus 5, which is 9. Then we do 9 plus 6, which is 15. We regroup the 10 and put the 5 in the 1's place. We add the 10's column. We have 2, 3, 4, 5. So either way we do it, we get the same sum. One way might be easier than the other. We can add any place value column this way. I see a 7 and a 3. 7 plus 3 is 10. We think 10 plus 2. 10 ones plus 2 ones. That's 12 ones. That's 1, 10, 2 ones. Here, we can make a 4. And here we can make another 4. 4 plus 4 is 8 tens. It's equal to 82. Here we have 39 plus 17 plus 21. We add the ones first in case we need to regroup 10 ones as 110. I see a 9 and a 1. That makes a 10. We can do 10 plus 7. That's 17. We regroup the 10 and put the 7 in the 1's place. Now we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can add from the top of the column down. We could have added 9 plus 7, which is equal to 16, and one more is 17. But 10 plus 7 is easier than 9 plus 7 plus 1. And we can add in any order, and doubles may be quicker to add first. Here I see a 4 plus a 4. That makes 8. Now we have 8 plus 3 more. That's 8, 9, 10, 11. We regroup the 10, put the 1 in the 1's place. Now we add the 10's column. We have 4, 5, 6. It's equal to 61. It's easy to count on three more. We can use the shape of the number to help us. The number three has three little points. When we're adding zero plus eight plus three in the ones column, zero plus eight is eight. So now we have eight, nine, 10, 11. We regroup the 10 into the tens place and put the one in the ones place. Now we add the tens. 3 tens plus 1 ten is 4 tens, 5 6 tens, 7 tens. It's equal to 71. We regroup for any place value that has 10 or more. 10 ones is equal to 110. 10 tens is equal to 100. Here we have our ones place that we add first. We have 8, 9, 10, 11. We regroup 110 up here and write the 1, 1 in the 1's place. Now we have 5 plus 1 is 6. We can make a doubles. 6 plus 6 is 12, 13, 14. 14 tens, that gives us 10 tens, which is 100. And the 4 tens that are remaining, our sum is 141. We only need to regroup if the column equals 10 or more. 
Here we have six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine for the ones place. That's not enough to regroup. In our tens place, we have four plus five is nine, 10, 11, 12 tens. And 12 tens is 100 with two tens. It's equal to 129. Remember to add all of the numbers in each column. Mrs. Kim baked 30 chocolate chip cookies, 24 oatmeal cookies, and 28 toffee cookies. How many cookies did she bake? We think we need the total number, so we need to add three add-ins. We have 30 chocolate chip, 24 oatmeal, 28 toffee. We add 30 plus 24 plus 28. Zero plus four in the ones place is four. We add four plus eight, that's equal to 12. We regroup a 10 and put the two down in the ones place. Now we add the tens. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means Mrs. Kim baked 82 cookies. Forty plus fifteen plus twenty can be solved by using mental math. We can add the tens first, then add the ones. We think four tens plus one ten plus two tens. Four tens plus one ten plus two tens, that's equal to seven tens. We have zero ones, we have five ones, and we have zero ones. That means we have five ones. Seven tens, five ones is equal to 75. We could also add 40 plus 20, which is 60, and 10 more is 70, plus five is 75. We can use mental math. Remember to add all of the numbers in each column. Our next lesson, 4.12, we're gonna find sums for four add-ins. Keep trying your best. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.